Hi everyone, so today I am at Microsoft headquarters in Redmond, Washington. Now this is so amazing to see everything that they're developing. In fact, I will show you some of the really cool technology, some of the cool insights, and just some of the cool people who are working here at Microsoft. When we were making HoloLens 2, we thought a lot about uh, how do we make a system that works like we do? How do we make an operating system that operates the way we do as opposed to how we have to adapt ourselves to technology? Yes. And consider how we just met, right? Yes. We, we shook hands, right. we made eye contact, and we spoke to one another. Right. Imagine you can make a device from the ground up that works like that. Uh, and that gets us really, really excited. I feel a little adorable landscape yes, with yes. really teeny tiny windmills on it. Awesome. Um, really beautiful rainbow colors. Can I get a little closer? Of or? course. So now this is your first hologram you're seeing with Hollands 2. Yes. And now with Hollands you could see them, but something you could do with Hollands 2 is you can touch them. So yes. if I could trouble you to bring your hand close to it, as you bring your hand close, you'll notice a slight wireframe that appears around yes. when you see that. If you could just take your hand to the top right corner, follow one of those wires and you'll see a little corner piece. Yes. And pull it. Whoa, so now I'm expanding the hologram. Yeah. Congrats, you have touched your first hologram. Whoa. If you just okay. look at the turbine, yes. and just grab the turbine and try rotating it with two hands. So I'm, oh, yeah, you cool. Can reset you got it. Yeah, so when I expand my hands out like this, it gets larger, and then when I go in like this, oh, no. When I go in like this, it gets smaller, yeah. and now I'm just rotating it around. This is such a cool way to see a 3D model. Oh my goodness. You are, in terms of the system, you are in what we call the mixed reality home. Mm -hmm. Think of this as if you're using your laptop, right. the place where you have all your windows floating and you can multitask. So right. consider all these 3D models are just here. Think about this as a place where you can multitask. And every so often you launch, you know, if you want to give a PowerPoint presentation, right. Right. you launch a, a app like PowerPoint or you launch a game and you want to go what we call full screen, right? right? It takes up all your, your real estate on your laptop. Right. Same thing here, we're going to launch what's called an immersive app. You see that model right there, yes. the little gem? You see, when you bring your hand up, there's a play yes. button that yes. appears. Do what comes naturally. Okay, so I press play, you got it. and now it's loading right just... now. So I have this beautiful gem loading, and now I have this gorgeous yep. hummingbird. Put your hand up. Around. Put your hand up, and she will come to you. Okay. Do you see? Oh her my gosh, she came to me. <laughs> and try, try moving your hand back and forth, and you can even walk around. You know, we make the device. We made a platform. The real magic is going to be with what people do with it, right? Those developers, those companies that are taking this device, and we're super excited to see what they invent with Hollands too. Yep, I'm gonna hit all the pounds. So this is, ah! This is just like Mario Kart, right? I wanna hit everything? <laughs> is, that, is that the point? Yeah. Am I going the wrong way now? No. Now I just have this guy. <laughs> well, I love this because there's no exterior damage to my car at all whatsoever, despite hitting about three of these cars at once. So, I'll tell you. <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing. All right, I feel pretty good because I got fourth, so I didn't actually, I wasn't the worst, I wasn't the best, but I am four on here, I'm visitor center six, so not last place, not last place which I feel really, really good about right now. This uh, lines up uh, exactly well, so I've seen creators who have trouble reaching the shoulder buttons uh, just because of, of, you know, their mobility, right. and they're actually able to tap this button or that button in order because they were able to remap everything. Yeah. So this is really a platform for people to customize their controls for whatever works for I them. I want to just point out to everybody, so here's this really amazing controller, but also just again, if we look at the side here, every single, every single 
you can plug in a button. So I will show you in a second, this is the B button right now, but I can take this and I can actually plug it into, say I want it to be, here we go, the right trigger, and then I can just plug it into there, and then that button works that way, and it's great for accessibility reasons, because then I can plug in a series of buttons if, say, for example, I can't actually access a controller the same way um, somebody who is fully mobile can. I am pretty happy, pretty neutral, and zero anger. Oh my gosh, these are the best. This is one I really want. <laughs> Look at my crazy face. I'm a Tibetan Spaniel. Vocal, independent, assertive, and watchful. Actually, that's pretty, that's pretty accurate. Raj started, uh, what are we, eight years? Right? Yeah, Pretty much eight years ago. Um, and started very much maker spaces um, around the world. Uh, we started with how many locations? Just? There was, there was Redmond and like a handful of outposts around the world. And it was, you know, employees have great ideas all the time. Right, right, right. And they want to work on them, you know, and they had no place to go. So we started to open up physical locations where they can go and tinker mm -hmm. and hack and get together with the community. So the garage has really sort of morphed. Satya really wanted something to replace company meeting. And company meeting was, you know, it was wonderful. I mean, but he wanted something where people could make something. They could have their own idea and do something with it. So we got to put this thing together that we call the reality room that we've replicated in four different places around the world for any employee or intern to come and learn about AR, VR, mixed reality. And, and just drop in whatever they want, hopefully hack on stuff and stay. And we wanted to make it different. Um, not only Microsoft stuff, right, but we wanted to have all of our competitors' hardware and software because, you know, this is like a yeah. big ecosystem, right? So you can't just have one it is, thing. It is so struggling with my green hair right now. Nah. <laughs> so, the, uh, so we have, of course, like a bunch of HoloLenses. Right. We have Windows Mixed Reality headsets. We have the 5. We have the Rift. We have even things going back. If people want to see where, where we started, right, we have like Google yeah, Cardboard, yeah. right? I mean, Google just because it hasn't been that many years, no, right, since we were here. One hack that we had to do was I wanted a place for people to be able to experiment with video, right? Mm -hmm. And like putting themselves inside video games or like whatever. Wow. I didn't want to live in a green room. Yes. Right. So so the hack that you'll really like, I think, was to be able to do this in such a way that um, we could have a green screen when we needed to. Oh my goodness. So we looked at the electronic <laughs> window shades that were out. Yeah. This, this is gonna be like doubly bad yeah. for your hair. Okay. Right? Oh my gosh, this is going to yeah. this is going to be so upset so right now. Yeah, when people come into the reality room, there my want to hair is literally floating in yeah. space. So yeah. So one of the things that is popular with the garage is people have a need and they want to take that need forward. Right. So this room is called Autonomous Video Booth. It is a fully self-serving So the instructions are basically you swipe your badge, any employee can come here, swipe my badge. I see my name here. If I have a script uploaded here, it would automatically appear here. Amazing. All I need to do is, or you can do, press this red button, yes. start recording. Within 30 seconds, you'll get an edited copy of your video. And your oh, wow. Box. Okay, so we're gonna, we have our mic right here. We have our beautiful beauty lights, of course, right here. We have soundproof walls. We have a lovely blown out background that looks like we're against a real background um, on camera. Five, four, three, two, one. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna, it's recording right now, but I'm gonna go ahead and hit the red button again because I think I'm, I'm done with my beautiful video. <gasps> and then we're done. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, this is this is very technically difficult for me right now. This is um this is, this is highly technical. So another big chapter, and by chapter I mean is an employee running and helping it out, is the Maker Garage. This space is open 24-7, 365 days for now all this employees. this looks like a Maker Garage. <laughs> Uh, 
again we have the standard 3d printers but we have cameras installed on all, all of them so even before someone comes here you can just go to aka.ms slash 3d status to see who is printing when will the print be free please watch the first few layers of your print job don't assume it will be fine <laughs> kitchen a few months back mm -hmm. and we converted into a wood shop. We oh. call this room as Pinterest in action room <laughs> because everything that you see built here has been built by employees by seeing Pinterest images of stuff. Yeah, so we, we have a program. So we talked about Hackathon where we take projects from all over the world mm -hmm. where people want to get them out as experiments. And so the garage team helps them to get their experiments out into customers' hands so we can see, um, you know, is this a good idea to take forward or not. We've had over 100 projects in the last four years ship out as experiments and they cover like every different, you know, there's here's like a mixed reality map SDK, right. adding for like people to find great new places to go. We have development tools, we have open source projects. There's all kinds of things that people can download for free and just try out. And some of these, um, if they turn into successful experiments, actually make their way into our flagship products and services. And those um, are cataloged on this tab called the Wall of Fame. And so this is where, like uh, Rolly mentioned, the Xbox adaptive controller, right? That was a, a garage project that was just a hack here that ended up um, turning into a really great product. So we are currently in one of the tree houses here at Microsoft headquarters. We're gonna go all the way up to the top. So it's pretty open and empty up here. We'll see if we can go over to the main one, which is right across the way, but I love that this is just all surrounded by trees. It's really peaceful up here. It's a great place to hang out, have a meeting, have a beer, uh, relax. All right, let's go inside. So quiet up here and look how adorable this is. It's basically like we're in Hobbit Town. So this is the largest conference room treehouse that is here at Microsoft. I love that you have this beautiful diffuse ring lighting. You have this very comfortable seating with these leather chairs so comfy i could imagine that this is a really great place to take a call or just get a bit of a breather from your work day because it's nice and it's out in nature but not too out in nature So we just looked at the amazing Microsoft tree houses. Now these are outside rooms that have, of course, Wi-Fi. They have electricity, um, but mostly they have a sense of calm to them, which is great when you're thinking about doing complex meetings. It's lovely to be outside in nature. And of course, we are here in Washington, which has beautiful trees, it has beautiful nature. So I love that they're bringing in that element of what their city, what their area is best known for into, of course, the way they think about planning and the way they think about doing meetings.